Welcome back, everyone. It is now the two-week update of our 25-way graphene coatings longevity test. This is update number three. So we did get quite a bit of rain over the last week. So you can see the water spotting. That's kind of what we're all after with this test. I really don't see any difference with any of the products. So I'll show you most of them here, but I don't I don't see any any tighter spotting or I guess that's what what you would call it. I really don't see any difference. They all have kind of water spots on it, same amount of dust and so on. And there's your weather for the last two weeks. You can see we've had about three centimeters of rain and it's been fairly mild temperatures. We're about to start. So I noticed this when I was foaming the hood down for the first time. Look at these six products. They're reacting differently, not necessarily failed or even weak, or maybe they are, but they are reacting differently to the soap. Even when I rinse it, you can see that the soap sticks slightly, except for those six squares. All right, let's continue. We will now foam it again, wash it, rinse it, and then we will check the hydrophobics here. Drive Auto Nano, you can see it's doing all right. 4-2 10-H Graphene Spray, starting to get weak. You can see the water sticking on it. Not failed, of course. And 303 Graphene, it looks like it's kind of in a similar way, but it's, it's a little quicker. So the 303 we won't quite mark weak yet, but it's getting pretty close. And the old is in the about the same. It's acting about the same. Graphene pre-production sample A looks extremely hydrophobic. As does Glossit Graphene. That was a late addition to our test, but it looks like it's doing just fine. Pre-production sample B, it was split in half. There's a top and a bottom to that. It looks like the top has failed. Bottom not doing too great either. IGL Easy Graphene, that's one layer, one coating. Looking good. 4210H also doing all right. Eelho 12H Graphene, just like on our other test, it has failed seven to 14 days is all you're gonna get out of that. Drive Auto Graphene, looking okay. Ethos Resist Graphene Spray, looking good. Adams Graphene 9H, also good. Extreme Solutions Graphene Spray, it is looking weak-ish. We're not gonna quite call it weak yet, but it is definitely looking worse for wear. Glass Parency Graphene Spray, looking good. IGL Kenzo, looking good. Kenzo Graphene. Looking good. And gra glass parency graphene coating. You can see that there is a little bit of water stick in there, but it's doing okay. Extreme Solutions graphene coating, kind of in the same boat there. Adams 10H coating, looking extremely hydrophobic. Ethos graphene matrix, also looking great. Turtle wax from the promo kit and the graphene paste that I purchased. You can see that they're looking a little worse for wear, but they're doing okay. I'm glad to see they're, the two are behaving similarly. SPS graphene, doing all right. 
Turtle Wax Graphene Max Wax looking good and Turtle Wax Graphene Flex Wax also doing very well. So there is your update for the two week mark with about three centimeters of rain, inch and a, inch and a quarter of rain. And we do have forecasted about six inches of rain or 15 centimeters. So we are going to probably see some differences in the next update with all of that rain. Not all in one day, it's over the next seven days we will have that much rain. You know, this is this is our rainy season, the spring. That's, that's how it's gonna go here. All right, so please make sure you're subscribed, like the video, comment down below, it really helps out the algorithm. Thanks again, guys, and we will see you soon.